Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Crafty Concepts with Erin. I have a scrapbook layout featuring the Love Notes collection. You can see this is very Valentine themed. We've got some florals and then this is so cute with the bears and the little heart boxes of chocolates and then we have this set of pattern paper with tiny little hearts and then a stripe and then this one's really pretty. It's like a little newsprint almost kind of look and then the little soft peach pattern on the opposite side of that. I have several photos. These are snapshots of Hayden and Desiree pictured at prom and I thought her red dress was just so gorgeous and perfect for the colors in this paper pack. It's not Valentine's Day but these photos definitely capture love and romance and I think that it will go along nicely. So these are the you know main photos I made larger and then a couple supporting photos here. So let me clear these out of the way. This is going to be a double page layout, so I'll bring in both of my Versamats. Now this is a special and it does have a pre-designed workshop. You can grab that off of my website. Even if you don't use it with this collection, it's always a great resource and jumping off point to create different layouts using the workshop guide. If you're interested in downloading that guide, you can find the link in the description box below. So let's go ahead and bring in the photos here. I do have some favorites. I love that one. And then this one here. And then here they're kind of dancing, pictured in front of the beautiful barn door. And then a couple, uh, the group shot, and they're playing foosball down there in that one. Now there's so many different things I can do with these photos. I could do something like this. I could even move this one over here and then place these two to fill that space. But hmm, I think I like this one better over here and then we'll go with these two how I originally had them. So now I need to decide what papers I want to use and I'm thinking this beautiful scarlet red with the hearts. I think it's going to complement Desiree's dress really well. So I could do something where I cut it in six inches and use a six by 12 piece on either half of the layout. I do like to do that frequently. It just lends itself well to a double page. But I also have these other gorgeous papers. This one is peach with a tiny little white polka dot and I could use that for a little horizontal inch interest and I do love a good stripe maybe we can put in a border of that now I also have this pattern paper with the red and florals it is a busier pattern but the peach and the stripe are a good mix with that so I could go with the hearts or I could go with this one it is tough to decide let me take these off camera and start cutting into them Making that first cut can always be the hardest with a brand new paper pack. I want to point out, you know, a couple differences between these papers. So I was really struggling to decide which one I wanted to use. As I mentioned, the floral is much busier, but if you look at my photos, I really don't have a lot of distracting elements in the background. We've got some greens, there is some, you know, tans, and both of those colors are in this paper pack. I think that the heart paper, this one here, is going to be easier to use with other photos. So since this one does go well with these pictures, I'm going to utilize the opportunity to uh, use this busier pattern. The floral and greenery colors will complement the outdoor setting of the photos. So this one here I cut right in half. So we have six by 12 on either side. And then we're gonna add some horizontal anchors here with these strips. The peach, is, they're both three inches and the peach is 11 and a half and the stripe is 11 and three quarters. So they're just shy of going to the edge of the paper. Now, one of the layouts in the workshop is similar to this. I am going to cut out the section behind those two stripes. I'll do that off camera, but I will save that for another layout. So we can bring back in the photo. So as I mentioned, the, the papers are similar to the one of the workshops, but I am of course adding more photos and changing it up. Look, I could even do this and then have my smaller three by four photos on either side. But I think I am going to go with this because it's going to go with the rest of my design ideas. And we'll bring these two right back in here. I have lots of things to embellish with. This paperboard 
shape set is from the Sweet Memories collection. These swirls and some of the other elements I think are going to play along nicely with the Love Notes paper pack. So I'm going to pop some of these out. You could paint these white or you could just keep them natural. You could ink them up and make them black. You could do a lot of different things with those. I also have these layered floral thin cuts. These are some of my favorites. And then the Love Notes collection also has a stamp and die set. So here is the stamp and the coordinating die has this ridiculously cute envelope die. So some of those shapes complement the stamp set, but then this just makes um, a really fun little envelope feature. I also have this sticker sheet here. So I'm thinking I'll pull some of these stickers off to go along with this particular layout. Like this one here it says love notes. I think that might look really cute. Before I start getting carried away with the embellishments, I'm going to ink up the edges of my pattern paper with black ink. Hayden's suit is black and you know, you can't go wrong with black, it goes with everything. So I'll just do a little bit of this and get the rest done off camera and then I can get these layers adhered down to the background. These photos were taken in May of 2021 and Hayden and Desiree were both only sophomores, but we're still calling it prom because she, Desiree, organized this entire event for her fellow homeschool classmates and a lot of them were seniors, so it was still kind of like the senior prom even though they were not seniors themselves. I did go ahead and die cut one of the envelopes from Seabrook paper and it just folds up. It scores all the lines for you. And I love the little scallop border on the top of the envelope. It's so cute. Maybe I do want these stacked this way so I have more room. No, let's keep them like this and we'll build an embellishment cluster right here. Off camera, I did stamp the heart and the floral bouquet and color those in with my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers. Aren't those so cute? Little box of chocolates there. I thought these might be fun, kind of tucked into the envelope. The title is going to go under their pictures, and so I'm just going to add the embellishments on top here. I also want to use these two little flourishes, maybe one on each side, and then I created my title on my Cricut. It just says prom night. I didn't want to say senior prom because it's not, so we just went with prom night, and then maybe we could put this right here. You know, I'm not really liking that on the striped paper. It's not standing. It's a little bit hard to read, don't you think? Maybe we could put some paper behind it. I've cut a strip of Seabrook, and maybe this will just kind of help that to be a little bit more. I mean, you could read it, but it just looked a little off against a striped uh, background there. That definitely helps it stand out, but I'm not in love with the idea. Plus, it just kind of blends in with the envelope. So I cut a additional envelope from Espresso cardstock, which is also a featured color in this paper pack. And that kind of ties in with those swirls. I do like the Espresso. We're going to go with that. I'm still not loving the random strip of paper. So what if we push the photos up? We can just kind of slide them up higher. And that gives us this area underneath on the peach paper that's less busy. There's just a very fine little polka dot detail. So yes, I do think that looks better. And that's going to give me room for my journaling down below. We can use this space for some strip journaling or something like that. I'm feeling like the upper left and right corners needs just a little something, maybe some background splatter, a little texture stamping. This is a retired stamp. It's called Dream Maker. There's this text stamp on here, which I really love. That could work. But you know what? On second thought, we could use this paper because it's a nice subtle background with this like newsprint on there. So it looks like I need about a four inch piece. I'll go ahead and cut that down on my paper trimmer there. Slide that behind there. And you know what? I really like that. It's very subtle and it just fills that space and gives a little bit more interest without being too overly busy. So I'm going to cut a piece for this side and then we'll do the bottom two corners too to make it look like one continuous piece of paper layered behind all of the other pattern papers. So this is great just to kind of sneak in a few little scraps here. They're four inches wide by like an inch tall. And I want this this way. I'm checking to see if there's a direction on there. Let's go ahead and bring those little swirly elements back in. These are so pretty. 
I cut a bunch of paper flowers using my layered florals. So we've got some leaves. Now these cut out four leaves, but I just like to cut them into pieces. So you have uh, sets of two and then singles. And those are from Seabrook. And then I used these flowers here, which are layering. There's a top and a bottom. And I think I'm gonna offset those. Those are in shortbread, which is another coordinating color in this collection. And then I cut one out in peach. And then we've got some other, now this is the largest flower here, but I really like the center from that one. And then I cut out these tiny little pieces also from shortbread and just little bits to create with and build up some layers. I didn't want to use the largest flower, so I kind of um, stayed with the medium-sized flowers. Now, anytime I have a cardstock like this, I love to add a little dimension by inking up the edges. So we'll just bring these in to lay them on my all-purpose mat, and then I can just ink up the outside edges to give them a little bit of depth. This is super easy with a blending brush, and it's nice to do like a tone on tone look. You can also cut these uh, flowers out of pattern paper, which looks really pretty. And then let's just kind of layer up some of these centers here. My friend Jama shared a great tip for these flowers. If you don't watch Jama's channel, you're definitely missing out, but she likes to cut them from white daisy cardstock. She'll just cut a bunch of flowers and then she can kind of look at them on her layout and see what colors they need to be. And then she'll just ink blend right over the white paper in whatever color she feels would best go in that space on her layout. So that's a great way to do it also. I'm just adding a touch of the shortbread to the outside edge of this one here. And I think I'll put this on the peach colored flower for a little contrast, that looks cute. I've got um, the darker side and the lighter side of each of the colors also giving it further contrast. So you can see this is all shortbread, but the center is a little bit darker because I use the shortbread ink and uh, you know for the base side so just again it makes these flowers a little bit more dimensional a little bit more interesting and these are just fun because it's like they never turn out the same way twice definitely something you'll use over and over and over again in your craft room I think the clusters will look really nice. We'll do one here, then one on the left-hand side, and then we'll do one up in the upper right-hand corner also. It's fun to kind of fold these leaves to give them a little bit of texture. And I've cut them again into little pieces. I've got some doubles and some singles that I can just kind of tuck around here and there. And then we can put some more flowers on this side here. Let's bump that out just a little bit here. I opted not to cut any flowers from red paper because I'm bringing in some stickers from the sticker sheet that are red and I also have some super cute puffy hearts that are red. So I'll add the little pops of red with those elements rather than the florals. Puffy stickers are always fun. Wait till I bring those in, you're gonna love them. So I've got these stickers. This little one we'll put right in this cluster and then this little tab says happy day. I think that'll fit nicely right up there. And maybe let's bump this little flower up. See how that pop of red, I knew it needed some red over there, but the stickers did the trick and I didn't want to overdo it with the red florals. So that's perfect. I like the way that is looking. I decided to print my journaling on vellum and I did kind of make a mistake. Usually I like to leave more of a margin up top so I can tuck it under and put my adhesive underneath that paper. But if I tuck it up far enough, my title covers my journaling. So I'm gonna have to get creative and figure out how to adhere this to my layout without tacking it under that peach pattern paper. And I think the puffy hearts will do the trick. They're pretty sticky. So I've got these adorable little puffy hearts and I'll need several of them. Of them, but if I just kind of overlap the vellum and the pattern paper, that should hold this in place nicely. The vellum is great too because it kind of tones down that busier pattern paper. It's a great way. You know, my friend Chelsea has done a layout where she put an entire 12 by 12 piece of vellum over a busy pattern paper to kind of tone it down. So that was a fun idea. I do want to repeat these elsewhere on the layout, but let me go ahead and take me, my, me, take me backing off, take my backing off the foam tape there. And then we can scatter some of these cute little red puffy hearts. There's also white and shortbread and the peach color. Um, we'll do one, maybe put this little guy there, put the bigger one on the bottom and have them go smaller as they go up. And then maybe one right over the heart on that 
file. There's a heart on there, but I thought this would be fun because it has a little texture. And then with this uh, type of a layout, I feel like you need a little sparkle and shine. This is my clear shimmer brush and I'm adding a little uh, shiny sparkly element to all of these floral centers here. You can't have enough sparkle on a prom layout, right? It just kind of goes hand in hand. For still shots of this layout, you can check those out over on my Facebook, Pinterest, Pinterest, or Instagram accounts. And of course, everything I used can be found in the description box below. And also, don't forget to download that free guide. It's such a great resource. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for doing that. I truly appreciate it. It lets me and YouTube know you like what you're seeing here on this channel. I'll be sharing more featuring this layout, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you very soon here on YouTube.